Alright, taking a live. What is up, people? Welcome to GTV semi finals right here on uh, the Oz Fortress Winter League 9th edition. Got Rewound versus World Underground. This is Premier Division. Uh, is this 3 versus 2 right now, Mercy, I believe? Yes. Indeed it is. Right, so obviously I've got no Mercy with me tonight as we get into the first rollout. Let's go find us a demo. Cinderella Man. 9.46, 9.45, 9.44 is first stick, he's coming out, his counterpart actually beat him there slightly, bit of damage there, soldier straight up on that train, scout Ooh. trying to put damage into him, he's going to get cleaned up though, Cinderella and Zombie down, as those two blue soldiers jump over onto the right hand side, um, however it is just the combo here on, oh look at that, jump from the soldier, he's been caught up by that scout though, Mako and Mant down, that's very unfortunate, and now just fake, he will go down, and that's going to be a complete wipe there, Mercy. Yeah, it was an interesting strat by Wu, first rollout to run their med up through the opposing main. Uh, it kind of worked, except that Cinderella just died way too quick, just isolated. I mean, they got Mental Realm as a counter, but damage was kind of done, and they were relying on that, whereas losing Cinderella really hurt them a lot more, and uh, yeah. when the oh, med went right. down, it was just sealed the deal. So this is going to be an uncontested uh, second. It's good to see that um, Rain trying something there, and likewise, like, them trying to catch out Rain before they're actually holding their flasks, because uh, they yeah. need more than just... Uh, luck. They need to try to get a pick. They've got a. They've got the uh, the pyro, and that should delay a bit. But I mean, let's face it, Marco is not getting this Uber up before they push, and so okay. uh, they're gonna have to like have an them. answer. They've actually popped really early. Send the scout in to deal with the pyro. He hasn't actually been able to yet. They have lost fake, however, though. Sentry gun's gonna take down Mikey. That's probably pretty advantageous. They haven't been able to get rid of it yet. They're gonna spam it out from long range. Of course, now they're gonna rotate, try and clip them. Oh. Soldiers coming in though. That's a big bomb right there. Medic out through the bottom. Yeah, clutched by Greyhunter to escape there. Um, but as you said, losing losing their scat there really early, Mikey. I think he was the one that wanted to get onto the point, suicide, clear the caps, and actually like force the drop down. But because that didn't yeah. happen, they were able to defend on top left for a while. Wow, we've got Render really going in deep here. Uh, it's not going to work. He might get away with his life with the with the escape plan. Uh, in fact, he's just going to waltz out. But this cap is no way they're ever going to cap. And uh, yeah, fake just oh, getting nice caught out. Trying a bit too hard for that cap, just probably shouldn't have been there. And I think we're going to punish. They know they've got uber advantage, but I think they're trying to try this play advantage. Mental Realm's just peeking under. And I like it. I mean, I think they should go for this right now. Soldier in on the point. Uh, he's pulling a lot of players down, but there's pretty average commitment there from Realm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's yeah Mikey will always go on caps when he has to. Yeah, Good sense for it. Well, Cindy wasn't able to do anything there. Righto, so we followed Cindy on the last rollout. Let's go and find Mental Realm. Uh, not having the quickest... No, 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 he's alright, he's alright. Going window though this time. Firing off that first sticky. It looks like his counterpart went window as well. Look at this red soldier. Man, rain there so quick. And now he's bombing into Valley. Uh, his team isn't really following up too much from that. Although Matt is down. We see the rest of the red team kind of move their way up towards the point. And oh. of course that was excellent work by Fake there. Really, really... Oh man, and the soldier all over that. Man, he's going to die from 4 damage. Mako down. Oh, rain. Yeah, this is a night. This rollout is still up to be contested. Uh, obviously, we'll have all the map control, but they need to take the scat down. Actually, really questionable decision to drop and to kill him there. They will get the kill, but uh, they wasted a lot of time when they should have been capping. I think they're going to get this cap. It looks like the rest of Rewind aren't going to try to recontest. Uh, but they left themselves open there. It was a risk. Um, I would have just held high ground and uh, let that scat be annoying until you actually had the cap and then drop down. Mm. But not to matter. They got the cap. Uh, both medics are going to spawn similar-ish. Maku didn't have a, a person to heal for a chunk of that though, so they've dropped a good 30% here. Um, and that might cost them. It's hard to know if Rewind are going to react to that though, uh, in terms of actual Uber advantage. So they are just going to push in here for free. Uh, the Sticky Trap's just in an awkward position and Matt just oh, man. walking into his death. Scout out right now though, however, they should be able to punish that Scout and D Trek going down. Got the Stickies there. Yeah, right. Rain is still behind being obnoxious, and that's what's causing Wu to play so defensive. And they really bungled this poorly. Now they're giving up the cap because uh, they know they've got Uber Dis. So, uh, yeah, a freebie for a rewind. Basically, just the player behind staying alive long enough that Wu just made an elementary mistake. And they maintain they make a second here. Marco doesn't have Uber yet, and they're coming around corn. They're gonna have their demo taking a lot of damage. Oh, but Prime gets dropped on the Uber. That's a big error, and uh, oh, good it rain may on, be enough good to cost this. Yeah, we're going for blood. Render straight around the corner. 300 health. He has scout support. They should be able to take this. 
Oh man, that Sox is gonna get eaten! Oh, that was huge! And now look at this, the two blue scouts though, rushing across the point, all over that medic over the demo, able to read that in the scout as well as he backs out. So Mant and Zombify going down, is this gonna allow them back in? I think they don't realize just like how deep in they here. are here. Like this So important the fake lives. He's gonna get back, but yeah, the... Well, the, uh, the scouts did get the kills fast enough, the soldier was just a little bit ahead of them. And uh, nice defense by Rewound. Tally elected not to go for the mid there, which is interesting. Uh, just decided to finish off that scout, make sure there's no more danger for his team. Obviously feeling quite confident right now. Three times cap on the point, 65% uber on Greyhunter, and of course roughly the same on Mako as well. And they are holding back on last, uh, no sort of forward, no sort of sticky trap that I've seen thus far. And it looks like Soldier's going to come in straight from the bottom. No stickies on the points, so and it's going to jump up in there. They're actually going to lose both their Soldiers there. Mikey, 14 health, getting out. Tally all over the scout. He's 46 health. Who is actually going to be able to win this? Zombies on the other 36, and he hasn't been able to hit a single shot. He's trying with those <laughs> pistols, and Mikey is going to hit the point. Oh, man. Not quite the quad pistol there. Not quite. All right, but let's um... watch Romy again. So, I mean, this is the rewound show, and we kind of expected this, but it's interesting to see what Wu's pulling out. The rollouts have been going either way. Um, Melter Realm is doing the most damage here, but Cinderella is like 50 damage behind, so they're both up around 2.4k. Uh, aggressive oh, stuff good, by good, Rewound, good, just good, too good. fast soldiers. Um, yeah, that was just the we think we have better DM roller, and they're pretty convincing. Oh wow, oh, man, almost getting in the head. <laughs> Turns out unlucky. Uh, Fake did get Demo Man there, so they may have the numbers to hold this Spire. Like a Demo Man is pretty big. Um, oh, Fake. Yeah. A little too ambitious. I mean, unless he thought that he had a, had a call that Greyhound wow. was low, I wouldn't have been trying that. His, li his life was forfeit there, and we did, and he did know it anyway, but... Ah, oh, he could've got out. That, yeah, well, that's what I was gonna say, like, he probably could've got out. They weren't really this showing too much interest, This Spire so. should be defender, just straight up. There's no reason not to defend the Spire. I think they're doing a lobby defense instead, and that's Zombify's just like, going back to just ground up. that they shouldn't be giving up. So that scout's in, good job cl uh, collecting him. However, they lose Mant. See Prime, Shrek, like, we've got this combo Yeah, here. now they're in all sorts of trouble. Forward. The Uber is going to really punish them for uh, not contesting the Spire where the Uber disadvantage was not really an issue. Um, and the reason they could have done that is because of the Demo Man advantage. Theirs was going to spawn well before and get in time, whereas our Metron wasn't going to be there. Uh, Rewind wasting a lot of time. Marku is going to get Uber, so uh, a bit of a gift here for uh, World Underground. Of course, um, they've earned it just through their incessant spam. But here we go, Uber top right. Don't know if this uh, push is indicative of expecting dual Ubers or not. Uh, but yeah, the Ubers are just going to bounce off each other, do absolutely nothing. And uh, Rewind don't mind that. That's probably what the um, the bare minimum they were looking for. So not a great, but... Oh man, they managed to pick up Man trading for Mikey. And oh, oh really? Lord. Tally in through the bottom there. So he killed Man over guys. on... Yeah, because Mant would have been watching bottom left, yeah? Oh, I'm assuming Mant would have been watching bottom left and then get the kill on him. Sorry, I didn't have uh, sights on it, folks. And then for Shrek to be able to just walk in and jump on the point, that's, yeah. Okay. Right, well, anyway, we are into half time, folks. Looks like we might have time to go and check out another match after this, Mercy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, while well, we're in half time, is, uh. Do we have a. Little update? It's a wipe. <laughs> In a nutshell, they're already into the second half. Um, you guys beat us to the second half, wow. Yeah, uh, hold um, on for the as, as I, yeah, as I just told No Mercy in Steam chat, uh, no, Yuki with uh, 2.6k damage in the first half. Just, just a, you know, a little one. He died in the, uh, just, just capping last on, uh, just at the end. So yeah, no, look, it's, it's pretty much inside at the moment. A little bit of resistance going on right now in the second half by Sunday Sesh, but yeah, look, it's pretty one-sided. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, that is uh, Team Intel, uh, Immunity Intel, um, obviously number one team in Australia, number one seed in this competition. This is the number four currently in the uh, semis, and that would be Sunday Sesh. Apparently it's pretty good, we didn't go to it's, that game. Uh, and it's four, there's nil as of now, Immunity just won, won the first round of the second half, so oh, look, uh, yeah. Being immunity. Cool. Realm being really, really quick. No one needs to use his jump though. Mm. It's not going to matter though. Mental Realm with some nice pipes, and uh, Prime and Rain with the cleanup. 
Uh, this is pretty much all over. Six down. They did lose two, and once again they lost their demo, but I mean, Realm is just playing forward aggressive and just doing damage yep. and not really caring that he's dying, which uh, it seems to be working fine. They're always keeping their two scouts up, which is uh, really powerful. Shrek and uh, Mikey just there for the clean up, the capping, and for the push forward. So, uh, look, every time Rewind have run a rollout, it's been convincing, and the one time that we run a rollout, it really wasn't, so. I'm wondering how interesting um, World Underground versus Sunday Siege is going to be. Any idea yeah. where they stack up exactly? They're really close. Um, a little <laughs> to, to quote uh, Sunday Sesh, it often depends who Wu is running as a secondary because they do slot rain a lot. Mm. Um, but they feel like so long as rain's not playing, it should be super close. Okay, okay. All right, but that's fake down, century down, Mikey down. Losing height, and of course Tally's in here on the left. Yeah, really bad positioning. They've got the numbers though, but uh, yeah, Shrek dying there probably. Yeah, I think it's a little too defensive from Rewind. I thought they could have done something there, but uh, they're a long way up, and they're just opting to play it safe here, which is fine. Uh, oh, well he's been baited. He has been baited. Oh, that soldier. Goodbye. Oh, so there's God. fake and men down. These aren't good trades, and there's yep. a back cap just oh. salt in the wounds. Rain back there. Um, salt indeed. Not not even with the times two and the scout saw him, but just really couldn't do much better. Not even salty funny. water, eh? Just straight salt. <laughs> oh god! It's like Dead Sea levels. Yup, yup. All right, all right. Let's check out the uh, quite possibly last rollout of this game. Mental Realm taking a bit of damage from Cindy. Uh, Soldier going so aggressive out into. Oh my god. And so he's just going to come from behind, have Ooh. some fun. Realm's going to get picked off at corner there. They've actually got their players in pretty good positioning. If they can pick the scout and then move forward to that soldier. Look at this, and the bomb coming in as well. He wasn't actually able to do anything, though. And Rain is getting picked, and they are going to win this rollout. Very nice work. So Mikey escaping with his life. Where is Grey Hunter? And eh, Grey Hunter's getting out as well. Scout is with it. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff going on. Both teams opting to mirror each other, really all in. Uh, Gray did well to get out of there with his life after going up through the opposition maintenance, but uh, everyone just didn't get the kills that time that they needed, and uh, they're running a strat that really does require them to get those early kills or their positioning becomes Oh, they're already awkward. in through bottom. Uh, okay. Straight in they go. I like this. This is nice. Nice and fast. Just get support players have decent health. The right, demo man isn't with them, though, so uh, they're going to wait for Cindy, I think. Uh, but there's no reason to wait now, they should just get going. Before... Right, let's see how they uh, handle their push. By the way, Mikey is uh, sniping out of top left. So if they push bottom, that could be pretty nasty. He's actually going to come forward, try and catch something. And indeed, they've got forward players popping their heads out. What is Mikey going to be able to do with this? I think Cindy may have noticed. Oh, Mikey, not getting the shot he wanted. Yeah, with the sniper forward like that, they're actually really weak to a bottom left rush, but... I mean, it's pretty hard to just suddenly teleport your whole team over there and, well, man, getting caught out. I'm not sure if that was a suicide or not. Uh, I was too busy that, watching it rain. It was a suicide, but yeah, it didn't quite work out. And now, Render, they're going to pop on him and uh -oh. try and block them out. Hopefully, there are players trying to escape. This Wu combo is not doing anything, and Prime is just hunting bodies. Like, he Genius. needs to die here, Gay. Yeah. He, he played that really well. A lot better than Render. And we're in all sorts of trouble. Mako is going to try to surf this rocket, but uh, poor surf, and... Yep, suddenly the roll on. Back cap, back cap attempts. Back cap. Back cap. Oh. Would have been clutch. Instead, Mikey's going to try to melee him to death. But uh, Fake says, hey buddy, this is a semi. Get your Boston Basher out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still behind, which is actually pretty big. Uh, obviously, Shrek knows about it and he's going back on to the... to try to stop him. Oh man, the soldier. The soldier. <laughs> that wasn't ever going to work. <laughs> Uh, really, they're not really cont even contesting. It's a bit disappointing. We're just not really uh, together right now. I mean, that's obvious, but with, with one player behind, the rest of your team needs to not be dying and playing as five, so that that one can be more effective. Or otherwise, well, a chance to try and break down that wall of Uber at least. They're defending here on the balcony, but their demo man is in here. I don't know what Cindy's doing. He's just giving up this spire for no reason. It's really, really they're strange. They're going to try and jump a soldier out here. They are getting Uber. So they're going to try and block it. Soldier is out on there. They've got both soldiers up on there. I'm expecting a bomb of some sort, possibly though. Shrek and Rain are down. Something is really pretty vulnerable. Yeah, Prime got away with 8 HP. Going to grab a pack. Uh, he'll slow them down a bit.
bit. We look at where he's dueling somewhere. Yep, he's up on the balcony just waiting for packs, being obnoxious. Um, but no soldiers effectively, with one behind and rain down. Uh, this is an opportunity for them to push hard and fast before this soldier arrives. And, Looks yeah. like they're going to take it. Now that Prime's damaged, I'd almost say just leave him alone. Get onto mid, support your team, and we're now going to have the scout come out. He's going to go back in for a house wall behind. Oh god. Yeah, she got the demo. After all that yo-yoing, uh, there is a back cap of times one that isn't going to be contested in time. That solid times one back cap. Who was it? And was it Rain? Is he on Of course it was. <laughs> Who else? I shouldn't have even asked that question, really. <laughs> noob mistake, noob mistake. So, three times cap, getting that point back. They're not going to get back capped at this stage. Soldier actually jumping forward. He is going to get dumpstered. Zombify is not going to miss that shot. This is the Premier Division, after all. And yeah, this... cleaning up Mikey as well. Yeah, it's a fine trade. They didn't really have to lose a life there if the Soldier had stayed forward, but he was oh, well. Oh, they're about well. to lose another life. Uh, Red is playing it okay here. He's got the health. He should just be pushing forward. Now with Cindy, they can go. Oh, but they're backing? Oh, I guess. I suppose oh, they... Really yeah. Actually, no, that was probably the right decision. It looked like they could have pushed forward across the combo there, but they had already lost the spy to the scout soldier, so... And there's an insurmountable number of players. Oh, Mikey's gone heavy. Please tell me he didn't actually... No, 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 good. He, he swapped. <laughs> yeah, 4 nil with them pushing last. I, I'd say this is pretty much all uh, academic from here. However, Zombify is an amazing sniper, you never know, could get a med pick and then a few more picks and miracles could happen. It would be a good start. Rewound if they see a sniper, they often love to do dual soldier switch or even go bottom left. Or run rain on sniper? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm sure he loves to do it. <laughs> I don't know if they love him doing it. <laughs> but he's moving in for that med pick. I don't know if he's been spotted. Oh, he has his shot! take it. It's a small window. Choked. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a free head. And a soldier decided to donate his life. I don't know what that was about. And uh, things are pretty much even. Yep, oh, gun actually, down, time no, to go. Yeah, the, Here we yeah. go, Prime's just going to uber straight in. Happy to trade uber. Nice rockets. Um... Oh, poor. Wow, okay, fake somehow pulling it off. I thought he was about to jump into a way big walls. And uber's Oh, reset, okay. Ren to play that well, he just bullied exactly where the bodies are, and even though he dropped bottom and right, the fact that uh, both scouts weren't in position meant that no one could really exploit Ren as not being top right, which is what you want to do when the combo is on the floor, you want to get players in above them. But it didn't happen. Not surprising. And uh, yeah, Rewan just continuing to do nothing because they feel like they don't really have to do anything at the moment. And, uh, I mean, there's not really anything more you can say there. So Zombie yeah. is still sniping. Um, it looks like, oh, Tally's gone sniper. Mikey is so dead. That's a... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Standing Tally, still and typing, maybe? Later, my friend. He was oh, caught. Man. They should push. That's two down. It's big. And here we go. Ubering straight out with the soldier. Prime's not really able to do much with the counter Uber, so this is looking good. Uh, if they can start getting scats out of the spire, as, uh, yep, Prime Grey forced to retreat up onto the balcony. They got Mental Realm quite low here, well, without actually dropping a player and, uh, Rain throwing his life away. I would've just held the Spire there if I was him. Well, they've managed to force force the kill on Rain, and they've got Shrek as well. Mikey down here on that soldier. He's so low, but he's done so much damage. Oh my god, Mikey. No Kappa, though, I don't... There needs yeah, to be Kappa. And suddenly too many Kappas, which is almost... Whoa, oh my god, man, he's actually gonna die, and they're actually gonna fail this. Okay. Rain, that was awkward. you are just the most annoying, amazing person I've ever seen. <laughs> so they're, getting a, they're getting away with murder here, oh, and uh, that'll do it. With a kind of a back cap, I guess. It's not really a back cap. I had no fewer than 10 dead. people tell me this was gonna be super close. I didn't. No, 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 you, you told me you told me how it would go, but... Alright, folks, so that is going to be the GG on this one, so, uh... No aspirations of winning the competition for Woo, however, they are going to have the third place showdown uh, in a week or two with, uh... with Sunday Sesh, so that should be pretty hey, sick. Hey, hey, still three maps to go, buddy. 
gotten three maps. Two. I can count. This one of this is still only one of three maps. I Don't count them out. We've got gully wash and then snake water for the decider. That is correct. I am really keen for some snake water, so if they could pull it back on gully, I'd be very keen. Sorry, sorry, did I just hear a maths nerd say sarcastically I can count? Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, folks, we're going to be waiting 90 seconds, and uh, then we're going to be heading on over there. Let's have a look at the stats. Live logs. Reveal to me your secrets. Alright. So, first half. Cindy actually did the most damage first half. How about that? Uh, wait, what is going on here? According to this... Wow, okay, this is actually pretty indicative. Basically, basically the stats say that the Wu... Alright, I've got to change maps. The stats seem to be indicating, at least for the first half, that the Wu heavies did really well. And unfortunately, their scouts did terribly. <laughs> um, actually, Zom kind of has funny stats. Did no damage, but did, got the kills. I don't know. All right, Just I've, Rewind I've, are playing better as a team. The DM oh, is actually surprisingly close. They definitely are playing better as a team. You can tell it. Like, even when you see when they get an advantage on mid on a couple of those mids, like the really close ones, and it was just like the scouts would be so busy tunneling and they'd just be getting reamed. Mm. Yeah, and, and I mean, second half, same thing. Like, prime top damage, but render ahead. Both primaries actually out-damaging... In fact, both primaries and both secondary soldiers out-damaged both demo men, so uh, we're living wow. in opposite land here today. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, both, both secondaries out-damaged the, prim the, the demos, like, what? Um, Granted, so City takes very little heals, as does Ventral Realm, but still. Just had a chat to Telly. Yeah, he's going to try and feed so we can get some snake water. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. He's going offline and he's just going to proceed to, like... Yeah, well, it's, be it's that slark. A, yeah, he's gonna be that slark. <laughs> oh man! Shout out to our stream and uh, and of course uh, to everyone uh, in STV. I hope y'all play the Dota too. Horrible, amazing, awesome, terrible game it is. Hmm. So Gullywash. I mean. I feel like in a lot of ways, Skullywash plays similar to Badlands when you when you don't stalemate. Like if you you can really roll on from big win rollouts, and oh, Rewind were winning convincing rollouts, and so I mean this map has the potential to play out exactly the same as the last one. Uh, but but if if Rewind if Wu sorry kind of get their act together, even if they're losing rollouts, um, you can definitely hold second for quite a while if you uh, have it well set up. Rewind like to uber through you, which can be pretty effective, so like uber from the 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 valley in the second, I guess you'd call it, and just try to prime just retreats, like just ubers past up through your team towards corner, and uh, the intent is try to like isolate off glasses, caught in the pit. Um, but that kind of depends on how we hold it, whether that'll work or not. As it looks like the... Uh, the battle for who gets to be blue continues. Yeah, it's a pretty intense battle fast far. It looks like four people have bowed out. <laughs> Rain's just hanging out with the cool kids. Render disconnect by... what? Alright, let's look at some other game stats. Which other games are going on tonight? OL9, well Div4, Semi2. 3 1, first half. 3 1. 3 1. No, wait, no. Looks like. Looks like T. T is coming out ahead of SBS. Um, that's Truckstrat. I guess that's not too surprising, actually. Yeah. They were pretty strong in Div4. Um, but. It's not, it's not a whitewash. Like, I'm just looking at 3-1 on process and 3-1 on gullywash. So, clearly those aren't complete. Those are two halves, but 
Yep, that they're pulling ahead at least. Might have I believe there is an STV for that, the fourth one, if people are interested. Uh, yeah, I think there is for the fourth one. What about Div 3? Looks like Ilan is up against uh, TBC. 3 0, from what I'm being told. Yeah, that's interesting. Shout out to Yule, who's going huge. 8.5k damage, well above wow. anyone else. That's big. He plays Double, triple, primary, I believe. Single. Um, well, Subtle is a little behind him. Yeah. Uh, good old Not subtle. too surprising, but uh, like at 7.8. But he's dominating three people. He's on 16.6. It's just he looks like he's controlling the game really well.